All right, 256, um, it is week 11. Congratulations. You guys have made it through your first six assignments. Um, for Michaela, since she's not with us today, I will record this and say, woohoo, congratulations. One through six, done. You have two full weeks on your corporate one sheeter and two full weeks on your final project, which will be your logo development for 3D printing. Here's your honors tab as well. Um, let's take a look. I think it's the cookbook. Yep, the MGD cookbook. Aw, sounds delicious. Um, we can't eat it though. You would be contributing, if you wanna do honors in here, Logan, you're done, but Ben, um, John, Francis, if you're interested in doing honors, this is a great one to do. It looks sick in your portfolio. Um, and remember, you could pick, I'm not gonna answer that. You could pick um, A, B, and C, you could pick X, Y, and Z. You can do um, unordered letters, um, especially if you want to do it. Don't worry, I'll show you examples. I'm getting some confused looks. Um, you will be contributing, working towards a program piece, think legacy piece, showcasing the A through Z um, account of design terms and type anatomy. Think back to all the lectures, all the classes, and pick three terms to create a series of posters highlighting the definition in a unique way. These artboards will be collected and bound into a book one day when I have some of that special spare time. Project requirements, pick three terms, kerning, letting, baseline shift, whatever. Um, submit the letters to me to be approved. Make sure I don't have 27 Ks because everybody picks kerning. Um, I'm gonna try to make as many fills without any repetition. Begin sketching your three design boards. Make them have a common look, but obviously different words depending on the different terms. Uh, monochromatic grayscale. I know we love color, no color. No color for you on the cookbook. Utilize type terminology, brief explanations. Remember the audience for this is gonna be other design students. Remember, think about coming into VizCom on the first day and this being on the table and you could kind of flip through it and learn some things. Um, it must be 11 by 17 landscape. That's the long way. 300 PPI and grayscale. Um, you don't have to print these during remote times. Just turn the PDFs into me. Um, I've got a bunch of examples I can show you. So you guys get it. B is for baseline ship. A is for ascender. C is for cap height. Those are pretty. Jamie's were pretty too. Um, type family. Not that one. No, where's the good one? Hang on. This one. Love it. And justifications. He made that one look like a book. This is my favorite one. But I have tons and tons of these as examples if you guys are interested. Any questions about honors in 256? It's the same as 103. All that you need to do is fill out a, um, if you haven't done so already, an honors. Um, There is an honors tab right here. And the first thing that you will do is fill out a honors questionnaire and email it to me, direct message it to me, send it to me in a telepathic message, smoke signal, whatever. Um, this is not a commitment. It's just so that I have all the information that those forms I was talking about filling out for Logan, um, it's in the order of all those forms. It's an editable PDF, but imagine that. Um, questions on the honors assign the honors program at all. Nothing. I do have this too. 
which is a spectacularly gorgeous graphic that agency or Maggie made. Um, you must fill out the form that I showed you that questionnaire, send it to me or Maggie, send it to any one of us. Maintain a 3.5 GPA. Y'all do that anyway. I know you do. Uh, meet the requirements for each class. Take three classes, 103, 256, 117, whatever. Take capstone with me at some point for three credit hours. Remember there is funding available some semesters. Um, if you get there early enough, that will pay for those three credit hours of capstone. Three credit hours free honors program. You do all of that and I submit the paperwork before graduation. You get it on your diploma and in the program at graduation and you get the ropes and cords that say honors. Super cool. Is that good? Any questions? I want to put that graphic in there. Let me do that real quick. That's nice. I bet it's a PDF and I bet I can't put it in there. Let's try for fun. Um, so for today, yeah, it's not supported. Okay, um, we'll do that at another time. For today, we will be introducing and taking in all of the awesome information about your corporate one pager, your corporate one sheeter, your one page leave behind, same name, same project, different name, same project. I popped in some examples of some good looking corporate one sheeters. I think this Mercedes Benz one's great. Imagine, you know, you go into the Mercedes Benz shop and on um, one of the tables in the waiting room, there's this, you pick it up, you take it with, it forever makes you want to buy one. Um, here's one for to drive more customers through digital. Pretty cool. I want to make sure, and I put versus the graphic report, uh, annual graphic, annual report graphic. These are two totally different things. Smile and nod. Annual reports, you guys are going to present to 103 at one o'clock, if I can get through all of this in the next 11 minutes, um, so that they have an idea of what an annual report is. By the way, I think they're all graded. You guys did a great job. Your corporate one-sheeter assignment seven is completely different, should be completely unrelated, and can be about you. Does it have to be? No. You could do it for anything you want, um, but might as well do one for yourself, right? Does anyone have a one page leave behind? Well, today could be the day that that all changes. Let's talk about what it is. Um, I created a PDF for you guys that is kind of a step by step instruction on how to do it and what to do but we'll pop through the actual, um, sorry, did the wrong thing. Here we go, corporate one sheet. So you're going to research and select a business to create a one sheeter. This can be for you, this can be for your friend's tattoo company, this can be for your aunt's um, design firm whatever. Um, I just always recommend make it about something you care about so that you care about it. And after you've been staring at it for five hours, you still love it. Um, create a one sheet, single page, eight and a half by 11 document. So this is just one piece of paper. All right. Think of it as something that you could email or actually leave behind with a client after your interactions. Um, think of this as a snapshot of your business or of a business and the most relevant, valuable information for a specific target audience. In your brain, say corporate one-sheeter is for the audience. Corporate one-sheeter is for the customer. It's about you, but it's more about them. Am I making that clear? This is about the client, about the audience. 
Um, this will also be known as a one pager or a leave behind. It's just a creative response to presenting information in a unique imaginative way. Um, we think about what we see and read differently when we're asked to do something with what we have read or seen. So this is a different interaction, you guys. This is more of a speculative interaction. You got to give them something. Um, must include a successful color, pa col color palette, collection of textures, typefaces. Um, think about creating an eye-catching headline, optimizing your layout, Z patterns, web style drop downs in a visual way, always a CTA, a call to action, and Jackson personality. You all are bright shining stars. Let us see what you do and what makes you unique. Um, I never try to stifle you from doing things that might not be academically classical because I think that you got to be true to yourself. So don't let that change in here. Um, how can you best speak to your audience? Um, include any relevant testimonials. But Stacy, I haven't had a client say, you're the best. You do things on time. Make it up. I will say it. You have all turned things in on time. You can quote me on that. I'm happy to leave a testimonial for you to use if you haven't already done gotten some in life. Um, if you go to my website, what is the first thing well, other than like pretty pictures you see? Let's look. Boom, testimonials. Oh, look at all these beautiful pictures she's made. I have, they're all mine and they're good. But at the bottom, testimonials. Best day, best photographer ever. Oh, I like this one. We had an outdoor photo shoot at three and it's five. We already have our photos. Do you want to know what I charge them on a one hour turnaround? It was ugly, but awesome. Um, testimonials are the best way for other people to say, oh, real people thinks this person does a good job. Um, all graphics, oh, end with a compelling call to action. Yes. Um, turn in one eight and a half by 11 document that have, has all the graphics in it. Uh, 20 points for your concept development and research, 40 points for layout, um, 25 points for successful collection of layout, 10 points for use of negative space. There's a hint, leave some negative space. Uh, these tend to get busy because you want to say a ton of things. So let your layout lead you. Now, um, we've got five minutes. I can't read all of this to you, but I am hopeful that you can all and will all read this yourselves. How, I'm sure that someone was going to ask, how do we do this, right? How to write a corporate one pager. If someone asked you what you do or what this business does, how would you be able to do accurately and concisely describe it in a compelling manner. Think elevator pitch. I got 90 seconds as we go to the 10th floor for me to convince you that you need to hire me for something. So make sure you're hitting the five W's. Um, what is it? It's a single page that distills down what your company does and for whom. Think of it as a, um, Elevator pitch, I'm saying these out of order, elevator speech or pitch. Its general purpose is to intrigue the listener to want to hear the entire proposition in the near future. So the noticeable difference in a marketing one-sheeter that it's written in a format and it's portable. It can be emailed, shared on social media, downloaded from your website, printed, mailed out, and so forth. Um, I do a lot of these. Like I'm um, uh, embarking upon another massive premier gymnastics at the Rocky shoot. And so I made a um, frequently asked question, one pager. I send it to them. I print it out and post it on the window. That alleviates 657 emails from 400 parents about how it all works. Think of your corporate one-shooter as being a 
frequently asked questions page of what you do um, or what you whatever company you pick. With a one pager, you present a full snapshot of the business in one page. The overreaching benefit of a one sheeter is that forces clear, concise, benefits driven communication. You guys hear me on that one? Benefits driven communication. What are you going to do for them? Uh, who needs a marketing one pager? In short, you do. But basically, any company that has a marketing need and utilizes email communications or face to face interactions. How do you build your one pager? When assembling your one sheeter, be selective about what you include. You only have one page, you can't put it all in there. The one sheeter must be visually appealing and inviting to read without making it look like a lot of work to get through. That's killer. Think back to that Mercedes one. It was just all you needed to know to be like, yep, I want that car. Um, last but not least, key action. In this case of copywriting, you want the reader to take action. Buy that Benz, whatever. Book you for a logo redesign, anything. Elements to have at the top, company name and logo. Please tell me that was pretty obvious. Um, let the reader know who it's for. Um, have you guys ever heard of a pain point? This is more in marketing world, but call out what your target audience suffers from or needs help with. Be as specific as possible. Remember, you can't be everything to everybody. Test this element of your one sheeter repeatedly until you find the best performer. In essence, your pain point is your headline for your one sheeter. So this is different than your tagline. It's your pain point. Uh, I think it's fun. You guys have never heard that term. We used to say it a lot in general hustling. Um, it's got to grab attention, right? So here's an example. Instead of saying something like the Bay Area's number one HVAC company, HVAC company, bland, boring. It could be had enough of your outdated firmness giving you the cold shoulder at night. Guys, see the difference? It says the same thing, but it doesn't say I'm the best. It says you need my help. That's the essence of a pain point. Put it at the top. Uh, the bottom line is you're hoping the reader is nodding their head saying, yes, my outdated furnace sucks. I need to hire these people. Um, this is the pivotal point of a one-sheeter where you give your reader, you give them something, hope. Hope that you can solve their problem. So if you're our HVAC friend, then lay it out for the reader. We've helped the Bay Area folks stay cozy at night since back in the day. They love our five-star service. Do you see the difference between five-star service and our plethora of customers love our five-star service? Completely different feeling, completely different ingestion of content. What to put in the middle? of your one picture. I told you, I would tell you exactly what to do on this. Um, the middle needs to give the specifics of how and why your business. Features, do you have 24 seven service? Do you give free estimates? Are you licensed in anything? Um, the benefits, answer to the question, so what? What does this mean to you after everything you list? Because that's what the reader's gonna do in their head. Um, what do you put at the bottom of your one pager? This is it, your CTA. And this has got to be the hook line sinker. And you got to make sure that you have laid this out. So by the time they get to your CTA, they haven't done what? Put it down, wandered off, looked at the next shiny thing. Call to action. Start saving today contact me for a free consultation. Learn more about X, Y, and Z. Also at the bottom, put your contact information. These people are going to be like, this is great. Oh, but I can't get a hold of this person. Um, don't have a website. Don't worry. Make one up, put it in there. I'm telling you, these are the kind of steps that will help you in the long run to go ahead and pull the trigger on that website. Um, 
optional add-on for the one sheeter, you can include a brief testimonial or customer review. Um, if space is at a real premium, only include a sentence or maybe a quote, like a small quote, a line underneath, and then a name um, that said you did something great. Remember, the takeaway here is that your company one sheeter is about the customer. Resist the urge to make it all about you and make it about you being the solution they need. Does that make sense? Where do we find Stacy's uh, three-step process to a fantastic corporate one-sheeter? Right here under readings, S. Heron, how to write a corporate one-sheeter. I've also put some examples of um, other ways to make an uh, eye-catching poster so that you can use some of these layout solutions. I recommend making a quick sketch like this. Do you guys see that? the like blue, purple, greenish kind of sketches, just chunk out where you're going to put your information. Um, I think this is nice. They've got kind of a website looking layout. There's no reason why if you have a website, you wouldn't make your corporate one sheeter kind of look like it. So when they go to your website, they're like, oh, continuity, brand recognition, I'm going to hire these people. Questions 256 about your corporate one-sheeter. When's it due? Two full weeks. For this one, you guys also have a discussion module and it should be in week 12 because that's when you need to utilize it. Are we clear? So we'll meet next week, same time, same place, chit chat about um, what you are doing your corporate one sheeter on. You should be about halfway done. That way by Monday, the, oh, my shoulder, uh, the 15th, you can get something of an 80% whip into the discussion. Let the rest of us help you um, finalize your design. Questions? 